Beneath Europa's icy outside, there is a chance that alien life exists. Let's explore the potential of extraterrestrial life as we go more into this mysterious universe. Europa is a fascinating glacial moon orbiting the majestic gas giant planet Jupiter. It's around the size of our moon and appears to be frozen. Given its position and temperature, which are both constantly bombarded by radiation, Europa may initially appear to be a desolate ball of ice with a surface temperature of roughly minus 60 degrees Celsius. This broken moon, however, presents one of the most promising opportunities for the hunt for extraterrestrial life despite these extreme conditions. Galileo's Discoveries NASA discoveries have changed the way we thought about this cold moon. Galileo's breakthrough discoveries included the discovery of the first conclusive proof of a large ocean hidden beneath Europa's frozen crust. This ocean has the capacity to hold two or three times the volume of water present in all of Earth's oceans combined, which has completely changed our perception of the moon's makeup and habitability. In December 1995, Galileo entered the Jovian system with the goal of studying Jupiter and its surrounding moons, especially Europa. Galileo carefully examined Europa's frozen surface through a series of carefully scheduled flybys, gathering detailed imagery that offered previously unheard of insights into the continent's geological features and traits. Galileo's photography provided scientists with an overview into the unique topography of Europa, displaying a broken surface with complex patterns of ridges, fissures and disorganized landscapes. These findings suggested a world significantly more dynamic and vibrant than previously thought, implying dynamic geological processes taking place beneath Europa's frozen surface. The lack of impact craters on the surface of Europa was one of Galileo's most important discoveries. In contrast to other worlds in our solar system, which over time receive impact craters from meteorite strikes, Europa's comparatively smooth surface revealed a youthfulness that confounded scientists. Large impact craters were absent, indicating that geological activity was still occurring. This activity may have been caused by internal processes like cryovolcanism or tectonic movement. Furthermore, there is strong evidence of a subterranean ocean, according to Galileo's measurements, of Jupiter's magnetic field near Europa. Further supporting the idea that a sizable ocean lies beneath the surface of the Moon is the distortion of Jupiter's magnetic field, which suggests the possibility of an electrically conducting fluid beneath Europa's frozen crust. Apart from these findings, Galileo's observations also stoked conjecture on Europa's possible habitability. The existence of liquid water and the potential for internal heat sources from tidal flexing sparked fascinating debates on the Moon's fitness for life. Could the subterranean ocean beneath Europa serve as a refuge for microbiological life forms that thrive in its icy depths? Geological Activity Strong evidence for the occurrence of frozen material seeping into gaps on Europa's surface came from Galileo's observations. The complex patterns of icy flows were obtained by the spacecraft's high-resolution pictures, which showed the movement of material inside the cracks and crevices that tarnished the icy crust of the Moon. This data implied that a dynamic interaction of forces was sculpting Europa's surface by means of the incessant processes of deposition and erosion. Even after billions of years of meteorite bombardment, Europa's surface still looked amazingly smooth and lacked the number of impact craters common to other celestial worlds. Scientists were perplexed by this unusual characteristic because the lack of significant craters suggested that there was continuous geological activity that could have resurfaced the Moon's frozen surface. One popular theory suggested that the telltale evidence of impact cratering could be erased by freezing volcanic eruptions similar to those seen on Earth. The concept of cryovolcanism, sometimes known as ice volcanism, gained popularity as researchers attempted to solve the puzzles surrounding the geological past of Europa. The extrusion of ice elements, such as water, ammonia or methane, onto a planetary surface is known as cryovolcanism, in contrast to classical volcanic activity, which involves the eruption of molten rock. The ocean beneath Europa's frozen crust may act as a liquid water reservoir, heated by tidal forces produced by Jupiter's gravitational pull. The Moon's surface may eventually change due to cryovolcanic eruptions fueled by this internal heat source and volatile substances found in Europa's icy shell. Subsurface Ocean 
the discovery of Jupiter's disrupted magnetic field surrounding Europa provided intriguing hints about the mysteries that lie beyond the frozen moon's mysterious depths. The most likely explanation for this magnetic anomaly, according to scientists, was that beneath Europa's icy surface lay a vast ocean made of salt water. The moon's distinct geology and gravitational dynamics, along with the conductive qualities of salt water, may have caused the observed disruption in Jupiter's magnetic field, offering strong evidence for the presence of a subterranean ocean. This subglacial ocean offered a possible refuge for extraterrestrial life since it was protected from the harsh radiation of space by Europa's frozen crust. Although it may seem unlikely that life could exist in the icy waters of Europa, astrobiologists have long conjectured that extremophiles microorganisms that can survive in harsh conditions might be able to find a home in this strange environment. The foundation of Europa's astrobiological potential is the existence of liquid water, which is necessary for life as we know it. The subsurface ocean offers a haven from the harsh realities of space, a stable environment where life may be able to take root and develop despite the Moon's icy exterior and hostile surface circumstances. Furthermore, the subterranean ocean of Europa might contain the fundamental chemicals required for the origin of life. Richly distributed across the universe, elements like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur may have been the starting point for the emergence of organic molecules, which are the fundamental components of life as we know it. These chemical components could power the biochemical events required for life to emerge in the buried ocean depths of Europa, along with energy from radiation bombardment and geological processes. The exciting possibility of finding extraterrestrial life in the subglacial water beneath Europa has sparked scientific curiosity and inspired audacious exploration efforts. NASA's Europa Clipper and the European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer JUICE mission are well positioned to investigate and maybe habitate Europa's mysterious ocean. Equipped with advanced gear and cutting-edge technology, these missions have the potential to reveal the mysteries of Europa's frigid surface and provide insight into the intriguing topic of whether extraterrestrial life exists. Tidal Flexing and Energy Sources Tidal flexing, the process by which the Moon is stretched and compressed by Jupiter's gravitational pull, produces heat that may melt internal ice and form the large ocean beneath Europa. Like deep-sea ecosystems on Earth, life on Europa might be supported by chemical reactions, such as those from hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor or radiation from Jupiter. Life on Europa If life is present on Europa, it may resemble the bizarre and hardy species that may be found in the ocean's deepest regions on Earth. These animals have evolved to withstand the frigid temperatures. The parallels between the two habitats' life, despite their drastically different depths, imply that life might be able to survive in the frigid depths of Europa. Upcoming Missions NASA and ESA are working together on exciting missions like Europa Clipper and JUICE, which are meant to unlock the secrets of Europa and find out if it can support life. These missions are our finest opportunity to date to explore Europa's mysteries and maybe find proof of extraterrestrial life within our solar system. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Europa. As scientists continue to uncover the mysteries of our solar system, the search for extraterrestrial life leads us to new and exciting places. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing insights into the secrets of space. Until next time, keep looking up.